Good morning, folks. Sprites, a relatively expanding topic of study. The scene here over Oklahoma. For those who don't need to Google what these are, consider this slowed down version. His camera is not upside down. I bet from space that looked like a solar flare. When stories came out that ISON was fizzling, we tried to share why that was wrong. Good article yesterday complimenting this stance on the official Comet ISON Observing Campaign website. I quote, It is premature to write ISON off. Hurricane Henriette, larger bunch, predicts missing Hawaii South, but I wouldn't plan on any Sunday picnics on the Big Island if I were you. This would be a very significant storm if it doesn't swing south. Meanwhile, the story here is flash flooding and a major, major landslide risk according to the TRMM, second tropical storm in only a few days there. They got the opposite problem in Namibia, where drought has destroyed crops and graze lands. Hundreds of thousands of people are in danger of malnutrition or worse. Same story in Europe, storms popping at the convergence line and hot as blazes east of it. Tassi on deck to take it while some bits of New Zealand may wake up wet, same converging air masses from north and south create the watch zone this evening here, but be wary up the Gulf and East Coast ahead of that pressure convergence. Solar flares continuing to remain weak. Sunspots on the disk are not very impressive. Large umbras up north have no friends. Two southern groups do. Both polarities central on the disk but separated by charge. Magnetic dance coming in on the south, but the umbras are spread themselves. You remember this filament released two nights ago? Noah's Enlil Spiral is now confirming NASA's weak impact, perhaps even just a glancing blow. But last night, we had a more significant eruption. South Central on the disk. I'd love to have the Stereo Core 2s right now, but they're lagging, so the Soho will suffice for this partial halo eruption here. NASA's Enlil Spiral clearly shows impact to Earth on the night of the 10th, just hours after that other CME. Let's have a little more fun here with this darkness entering the picture top left. That's the leading edge of a set of coronal holes fit for a leviathan. With CMEs coming, that will make for quite a combined quake watch, but for now, we'll stick with last night's watch score of 5. Speaking of watch, dark plasma filament eruption threat turning in now. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.30am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.